Good morning guys, so it's Tuesday today and I'm gonna vlog as much as I can. Um, so I am going into London now to meet my manager, Ellie, from Bear Bells. Um, she's absolutely fab and we're gonna do a shoulder session and maybe get some food afterwards. We'll see how much time we've got because I've then got physio um, and then a meeting with my management after that. So I'll try and take you along for, yeah, for as much as I can and then Elliot's gonna come over later, which should be really nice. So I've not seen him for a good few days have been at home for the weekend. Um, but I'm actually in a massive rush because I forgot that the clocks went back and I'd not changed my alarm clock here. I've got one of those like, I don't know what they're called. Do you know the light up like alarm clocks? I'm gonna wake you up naturally. Anyway, so it didn't wake me up this morning. My housemate, thank God, woke me up. Um, so basically I'm in a massive rush. So I'm just gonna go downstairs and grab probably a bagel and a tea or something just really quickly um, before I need to rush out the door. So just starting off the day with a peppermint tea, um, if you can see that there. I have one by Twisties, which is really good quality. Um, and as I said in my bloating video, I just find it really, really helps, especially in the morning of, I've, like this morning I've woken up feeling really bloated. Um, and I kind of want to be wearing this sports bra in the gym because it's a Bear Bells one, but I just don't really feel comfortable doing that at the moment. So yeah, thought I'd pour myself peppermint tea and hopefully that'll just take some of the bloat down a little bit. So, just got to Thursday's face, and this is Ellie. Um, so yeah, she's my manager at Bear Bells, and we're gonna do a bit of shoulder session today. I've never been to Thursday's face before, but um, it's so cool. I'll just show you quickly. Look at this. Such a cool gym, and there's a pool, so we really wish we'd brought up swimming stuff, but anyway, next time, next time. Um, so yeah. We're just gonna start off and Ellie's gonna help me film a bit today. I'm moving at light speed, I need nice things. Bad bitch, ass thick and them tight jeans. So for real, she melt me like ice cream. Once we get to mixing it in, I'm like Mike Dean. I'm a savage and I gotta have it. Every time I pop out, this shit mad tense. This anxiety got me on sobriety. You really ain't gonna hit the dope, that boy a liar, see? I move around, I move around, yeah, I do. Ain't a person could tell me that I'ma lose. No, I really wanna get some paper for my fam and move my ma across the country so she living under understand, understand, it's just how I go. You hear the dealer just sitting in my flow. I see the season changing by color. It's really making me wonder if by summer I'ma hit my glow. Maybe we'll never know. I'm moving at light speed. I need nice things. Bad bitch, ass thick in them tight jeans. So for real, she melt me like ice cream. Once we get to mixing it in, I'm like Mike Dean. Don't wanna argue, yeah. Don't wanna say something you don't mean. I know I move fast. I need to know if you're into me. This is a new love. Uh, I know this fast for you. I'm glad I got you to myself. I pull this glass for you. Appreciate the way them jeans sit up that ass for you. I'm holding doors, staying fresh and skipping class for you. I know just who you are, who me, or oh, I'm a superstar. Don't rock no suit and tie, but still could take you super far. They wishing on your fall the way they wish I'm shooting stars. Oh girl, you too in charge. Light speed, light speed, but I think it's the right speed. A woman of your caliber don't meet too many like me. You wonder how I know that shit, I wonder how you don't. A bitch will quickly waste your time, I wonder if she won't. I wonder, I need some oxygen, I'm finna go under. Ain't worked a job a whole life, but I ain't taking none from her. I told her me and bro together, so she bringing one with her. I'm sliding with the top down, I'm on my way to go get her. The way she got a nigga feeling, you couldn't pay me to quit her. No, don't bring your wallet out, I got it, I pay for it all. She ain't allowed to pay for shit when she out with the kid. I wanna spoil her when she cry, shut her mouth with her bins. Yeah, and I got her for show. Sure. And just because she turned heads, I don't got her for show. Sure. I put them pearls on her, I put her style on my road. I'm trying to run the summer like 20 times in a row. I'm moving at light speed, I need nice things. Bad bitch, ass thick in them tight jeans.
so I'm just editing up my video at the moment, so this vlog that you'll be watching now, um, and I realised that I've got quite a lot in where I've not really explained what I'm doing. <laughs> so basically, I just want to explain my shoulder session, which you saw with Ellie, um, actually there's not really too much to explain about that, it was a shoulder session, it's really great, um, we did it at First Base London, which they could very kindly let us film in there, um, and it was absolutely fab, it was such an amazing facility, the light was really cool, but not great for filming, hence the really yellow light. So then I went straight to Fit to Function, which is my physio, and it's Lewis that I see there, and he's absolutely amazing. Um, he really like explains what we're doing very well. Um, and yeah, as you'll see in my previous video, I think, um, I work with them, and yeah, they're just amazing, basically. Um, they've helped me out loads already, and we've got loads planned together. So we're really, really working on my squat form, and I think a huge downfall of mine is I have very very weak glutes um so they don't really help to support me as well as a um lack of like range of motion basically but we think they're probably quite linked so in this video um we were actually working on core exercises because they are so so crucial and more crucial than you'd ever think um and they play, play such a big part in like a squat or a deadlift and they're both things that I really really struggle with um because of that, basically. So my core strength isn't actually too bad. Um, it is something that I do. I don't do it as regularly as I used to, but you'll see, so I'm just changing my arm because this camera is really heavy. I think I'm gonna get myself like a little vlogging camera because this is just not very practical for when I wanna kind of sit and talk to the camera. Um, so you'll see the exercises that we did there, quite a lot of them were, they were very slow and steady, which isn't always how I train abs. I'm just gonna switch arms again. Um, so yeah, I was doing them very slowly and the idea behind them was that I'm not using my lower back so much um, because it's really easy to sort of switch your low back muscles into action when you're doing that and that's not really what I want to do and that's when you get the back pain basically from core exercises if you ever experience that. So the exercises like the dead bugs, we were really focusing on pushing my lower back into the mat so it's not being used um, and they were going really well basically. So the treatment that I do with Lewis um, before we do a little bit of a session in the gym is I don't actually know what it's called. I know one of them is called K laser and that is being used on me to help the scar tissue that's still there from my hamstring tear. And it's, it feels a bit weird, but it doesn't hurt. And then the other one is like, it's basically like a vibrating gun with a ball on the end. And it's meant to be more effective than using your hands. And it's absolutely amazing. So if I go there and I'm really tight, it's extremely painful in some areas, but you leave feeling much, much better, a lot looser. Uh, you just have to make sure you drink a lot of water afterwards because I think it starts to like, getting rid of the toxins process. Not sure exactly on the science behind that, but something like that. And you can often feel quite tired afterwards as well. Um, I always feel a bit like I've done a workout, even though I haven't technically, obviously. But yeah, there's a bit of an explanation for you behind my physio session. And I realize a lot of the clips kind of cut in this video to other things and I didn't talk to the camera as much as I should have done to explain them. But anyway, Lewis is fab, and I'm thinking at some point we can maybe film like a sit down video or like a Q&A or something. So let me know if you'd be interested in that and we can think of a few questions that might be good to ask him. So I think the next bit of this video now skips on to my visit to Cologne. So I will see you there. I'm super excited today because it is Thursday and I'm off to Cologne to go to FIBO today and yeah basically I'm super nervous but also really excited. I had that thing where I woke up really really early this morning like oh you know like panic not panic like excited nerves kind of vibe. So just had quite a chill morning um just sorting out bits and stuff that I needed to do and a little bit of last minute work. It's so annoying because I've left my um memory card adapter for my laptop and my hard drive at home in Cheshire so I'm just waiting on my dad to send this back to me which is a massive pain because it stops me from doing quite a lot of the work that I really needed to do but anyway just packing now before I leave at probably about 11 to drive to Heathrow airport so just thought I'd show you a few bits that I'm packing with me so basically, I've been asked to take a suitcase that's basically empty because 
we are going to get given all of our clothes when we're there so it's we're going to be fully kitted out in under armor this is quite strange really and i don't actually know how i'm going to do it but the current situation is i've got a pretty much an empty suitcase maybe i'll have to put a coat in there actually or something to stop everything rattling about but just go through quickly so i've got underwear and stuff like no show things just because I, i've not actually tried on the clothing yet so i don't know what they're going to be like um but pajamas i've got an outfit for this evening so i've got this blouse which is from weekday which my dad got me for christmas I absolutely love it these jeans which are urban outfitters um they're quite cool they've got like a i don't know like a copper color stitch on them they're really nice um headband just because i never know if i'm going to be having a bad hair day a belt which is actually new haven't worn that yet um my hair straighteners just because I don't really use those very often but I don't know why I always end up packing them when I go away and not using them but <laughs> anyway and um, so then I'm going to be packing a few Bear Bells bits just as healthy snacks and um, but also Bear Bells are at Fubo so I'm actually really excited because I'm hopefully going to be able to meet their team out there and go and have a look at their stand as well um, and then in this part I've got my adapters um, European adapters and I've got hairspray deodorant like my hair serum from Nexus and then toiletries so I've got hair grips obviously essentials for people with baby hair and um, my Holland and Barrett CBD night cream um, which I've been literally loving at the moment I've done a few posts on that on Instagram so you can go and check those out but I think that's absolutely fab and you wake up feeling super moisturized so yeah then i've got a like a body spray from and other stories which is elliot got me those for christmas and they're sort of like an alternative to perfume um but they're really nice they came in a pack of three and it's just quite good for traveling as well um then earplugs uh razor face cream deodorant tooth paste toothbrush everything that's not really that interesting um and then in terms of like travel accessory things so i've got my fossil watch which is the one that i always wear at the moment my airpods which are like my absolute number one travel essential charges which i'm still yet to pack this is what my camera goes in <laughs> to kind of stop it moving around everywhere and um, then my makeup bag my for forio foreo i have no idea how you say it but that thing <laughs> that cleans your face really well which i actually got given at the Gymshark Christmas party um, in our stockings and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's like an exfoliator thing with all these like rubbery bristles and it's really cool and it vibrates as well. Um, so then my reusable re um, makeup remove pads and then I'll be taking my toner. It's like a body shop aloe vera toner but I actually use it as a makeup remover. So um, <laughs> I don't know if you're meant to do that. What does it say on it? um i don't know any but that's what i do and then my makeup bag i was thinking of filming a get ready with me tomorrow morning because i'm assuming that um sorry me again i'm assuming that i'll be wearing quite a bit of makeup tomorrow just to kind of make myself look nice and i think it might be quite nice to do that because i think i've only done that once before um so yeah and um, maybe i'll do that for you when i'm there and then shoes I've got these boots to wear out in the evening just because I think we're going for a dinner tonight with the Under Armour team. Um, so I'm going to try and dress a little bit smarter. And then my Converse, which are actually platform ones. They're really cool, which I think I will wear to the airport today. And then I've also had to pack um, my squash bag for the weekend. So I've got my squash rackets and things in the car and trainers, but I've had to pack like a bag of casual clothes and sports stuff as well which is because i'm going straight to nottingham basically um so yeah that is what i'm taking with me so i'm getting so excited now um but i need to go and have some breakfast so i'm gonna do that and then pack everything into the car and i'm sure i'll catch up with you at the airport my comfy airport outfit so i've just got a sweatshirt on and trackies and my new converse so we've arrived um just been shown to my hotel room which is really cool and i've not opened all my under armor stuff yet so i was thinking i can keep my camera set up here and show you all what's in my bags because 
if you can see it looks like there's lots of stuff and i literally can't wait to have a look so yeah oh my god this is like a safe what okay i have no idea what's in there um but yeah i'm gonna set my camera up so you can watch me unbox as well First thing that I managed to get out from the vault is this sports bra. And then we've got this super cool, like really high tech um, testing kit, which we're gonna be wearing tomorrow to do our workout in, um, which is literally so cool. I don't know how they've even come out with this design. Um, but yeah, we've got like zips here and just really cool prints basically. Then onto this bag. So I think we've got some leggings. Um, I think that's a top. Some, oh, another top. So we've got two pairs of gym trainers. Those are actually really, really cool. I quite like the chunky sole on those. And then we've got these as well. I think those are definitely my favorite, but these are really cool. So I don't know which one's gonna have to wear tomorrow. Um, and then I think the rest of it, just kind of accessory bits, I need to really unpack those to tell you what they are. But an amazing box of things anyway. So I am just gonna have a shower now and kind of freshen up and we're gonna go out for dinner with the rest of the team. So this is my final look. So a little bit glowy, a little bit matte kind of vibe. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna sort my hair out now, as I said before, and then go down, meet everyone at breakfast, and then we are off to Fibo, and I'm so excited. I just have no idea what to expect. Um, I went to Body Power last year um, with Women's Best, and that was really fun, um, but apparently it's like 10 times bigger and more, I don't know, like epic. So I'm really excited, but I'll vlog there, so I will catch up with you when we get there. <laughs> at Fibo, so we're just gonna go and see what it's all about. We're all very excited, uh, but we haven't got to our stand yet, so we shall see you when we get there. So I'm just in the back area while they sort of get everything ready. I know it's really noisy, so I don't even know if you'll be able to hear this. Um, but yeah, they're just kind of setting up. The, base, the basis of it is testing out all of this kit, um, and we are doing a workout which I think consists of Like a whole bag of goodies. 